welcome back students let us discuss about the model questions on chapter 4 globalization and multinational corporations jagatikarana matte mnc galu andre bahurashtriya company galu ee ondu nalkane unit athwa nalkane chapter na model questions na ee ondu video dalli na charche madana two marks questions what is globalization jagatikarana endare enu Define MNCs. MNC Galano Vacani C. MNC and the Bahurashia Company Galo. What are TNCs? TNC Galu Yahu. So TNC are transnational corporation Andre Yahu. One do the Harne Kodia the Arta Koto. Give the meaning and then give some examples also. Mention four names of Indian MNCs in foreign countries. Videshi Dali Rua. Bharatiya MNC Gala Nalku Hesar Galanu Lake C. So Nividana search Mar Nodri Nim Goti the Yaya Indian companies MNCs uh, IE foreign country else country early work Martha idea another Nalka company gala hesar code really. Next mention four names of popular MNCs in India. Bharta the Lina Janapriya MNC Gala Nalku Hesar Galanu Lake C. So Bere country gala Nama de Shadali Bandiru and the MNC Gala Bagge. So, give uh, some uh, companies name, uh, Indian companies uh, which are uh, in foreign countries. That is one part. And name some foreign companies name which are in India. So, both you have to search in the Google or you have uh, in the textbooks also. And even I have given some examples in my uh, previous videos. You can just check it out and then write four companies name here. State any two advantages of MNCs. MNC gala yaudadar yarado prayojana gala na teli si. Bari points bari bari. You have to explain the points here. Just don't write the points. You have to explain the points here. State any two disadvantages of MNCs. MNC gala yaudadar yarado ananu kula gala na teli si. So these are regarding two marks. Now let's move on to five marks. Distinguish between MNC and TNCs, multinational corporations and transnational corporation. MNC Bahurashtra company gala matta TNCs gala naduve vetya saunu guru tisi. So idhe kena munche ne wo vetya sagarna na bare kena munche madhuli you have to write the meaning of MNCs and TNCs. Then go for point of differences. Write the advantages of globalization. Jagati Karna Anukula Gano Bari Globalization. It's not globalizations. There is some spelling mistake. It is right the advantages of globalization. What are the advantage disadvantages of globalization? Jagati Karna Ananukula Galu Eno. So Ili Bari points as Tabario Hagila. Points so just take points and need to explain Madbeka. You have to explain each and every point you have written in the uh, answer. Write the advantage of MNCs. MNC Bariri. What are the disadvantages of MNCs? MNC Bariri. So when you are writing it for five marks, at least minimum there should be five points here. We have to explain five points minimum. And maximum it's left up to you. Uh, if, uh, but you have to manage the time properly. Just don't write for 10 marks uh, uh, answer. You will go for 5 points or uh, maximum 6 to 7 points. You can explain here in for 5 marks question. Explain the reasons for emergence of TNCs. TNC gala para humi ke karna gala no vivari si. Explain in brief the growth of MNCs in India. Bharat dili MNC gala bale vani ke yalo samshikta vagi vivari si. Distinguish between international company, MNC, global company and TNC, Antarashtri company, Bahurashtri company, global company, Matha transnational company and Adivina Vetya Savana Guruti C. So these are regarding 5 marks question. Let's go to 10 marks question. What is globalization? Explain the implications of globalization. Jagati Karna and the Reno Jagati Karna the Parina Magalanu Vivarisi. So when you are writing about implications or Parina Magalu, you have to write the advantages and disadvantages, both positive and negative points about globalization. What is an MNC? Explain its characteristics. MNC and the Reno, other Gunalakshana Vivarisi. So when you are writing what is MNC? 
uh, then uh, give the meaning of MNC, expand it, then give the write the meaning or definition of MNC and give some examples of, uh, which are there uh, as a MNC in India, in India or in other country. You can give the name of that company. What is MNC? Explain the advantages and disadvantages of MNC. MNC and Narino, MNC Gala and Kula Mata and Anukula Galano, we very see. So these are regarding 10 marks. Let's discuss about case study here. India is a developing country and it is rich in natural resources, highly populated and with abundant labor. One of the MNCs wants to enter Indian market. In this background, discuss whether the multinational corporation or are boon or bane discussed in India's point of view. Here again, boon or bane means advantage or disadvantage. So you have to go for advantages and disadvantages of MNCs in India. So we have already discussed uh, about this in my previous videos. Just have a look at those videos and you have to write down uh, how uh, these MNCs uh, will be advantages or uh, maybe a negative point to Indian market. In the point of view, India, we have to write uh, these points here. Bharat wo habiruddhi vandu tiruva desha vayagi de matto ido naisar gikka sampan moola galinda samruddha vayagi de. The hair ala vada karmika rondege hachchu jana sankhya nu vandi de. MNC andre bahurashtriya galalli vandu Bharatiya maru katte yano praveshi salu bhai sutta de. ಈ ಹಿನ್ನೆಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹುರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ವರದಾನ ಅಥವಾ ಕೇಡು ಎಂಬುದನ್ನು ಭಾರತದ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಕೋನದಲ್ಲಿ ಚರ್ಚಿಸಿ ಸೋ ಇದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಏನು ಒಂದು ಹೊರ ದೇಶ ಫಾರಿನ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಒಂದು ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಬಹುರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಕಂಪನಿ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶಕ್ಕೆ ಬರಬೇಕಂತ ಬಯಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಬರೋದಾದರೆ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತಕ್ಕೆ ವರದಾನ ಆಗಿ ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಅಥವಾ ಕೇಡು ಆಗಿ ಬರುತ್ತೋ ಅಥವಾ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೋ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ವರದಾನ ಆಗಿ ಬಂತಂದ್ರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೂನ್ ಬೂನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಮೆರಿಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಮೆರಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜ್ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಎಂ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಡಿಯಾ you have to write down all those points if at all you are writing it as a uh, taking it as a negative if it is a disadvantage if any multinational companies enters the in enters india then what will be the disadvantage those points are to be uh, written in points and also explained in detail so if you write both uh, it's well and good the time management is very important here when you are going for theory papers especially theory paper needs a lot of time here because you go on writing the things you you will be sometimes stuck uh, in between and you have to write some more points if you want to write some more points it takes a lot of time here so please maintain your time uh, try to cover all the points don't uh, leave any uh, question unanswered write all the questions uh, write or try to answer all the questions uh, and maintain the time here so with with these uh, videos i'll be uh, ending this class now i'll be back with i'll try uh, my best to come out with fifth chapter uh, videos if i get time i'll be doing some important videos there uh, until then uh, we'll meet yeah it will be in two or three days again with the fifth chapter i'll try my best to do those until then have a nice time thank you very much